All right, so I finally had a chance to sit down with NVIDIA's Instant NGP. What is Instant NGP? Well, this is a bunch of free code that NVIDIA gives free to individuals to train their own neural representation. Now we'll get into what that is in a second, but what this means is you need an NVIDIA GPU, uh, CUDA being a key dependency here. You cannot do this on a Mac, for example, uh, but if you have a PC or Linux machine with an NVIDIA GPU, you can duct tape a bunch of code together and essentially train some awesome NERF representations. And let me show you one right now. So this is an old photogrammetry data set. So to contextualize these results, let me show you what I'm working with here. This is about 100 photos captured with an iPhone 7 Plus, actually. So this is a pretty old phone and not even full, full resolution. This has been downsized to 1440p. And here's what you get. What you have to do is essentially hose the imagery with call map, which is quite easy to do, and pump it into the software, and then you can train your own neural representation. And so this one takes about four and a half gigs on my GPU, and the results are quite, quite amazing. Uh, especially as I stay within this capture volume. So this might be a good point in time to compare and contrast some of the differences between, uh, shall we say, photogrammetric approaches and these sort of learned neural representations. So to make this difference even more apparent, let's actually go look at some photogrammetric data sets generated from this exact set of imagery. So here is a final result, right? Like this is a optimized 3D model. We've taken a lot of the high frequency geometric detail that you would have captured with photogrammetry and baked that into a normal map over here. We've got a roughness map, so forth. And then here we take a step back before all that, like post-processing, shall I say. And here's a more pre-unprocessed result, a dense point cloud, essentially. So what that means is you've got the posed imagery, then you've like basically run multi-view stereo or some other way to compute depth and essentially created these dense point clouds from that. So as you can see, a lot of the feature detail here on the back on the staircase has been nicely picked up and modeled. You've also got this whole wall over here that's been very nicely modeled. You can see it picks up a lot of this detail but the trees are gone, the background is gone. Uh, in, in contrast with a neural representation, what neural volumes are essentially solving the computer science problem of view synthesis. So what this means is given a bag of images, let me produce a representation that can synthesize any novel viewpoint within that volume, right? So the point here is that within this volume, if I want to move my camera, I can do so freely. And all the background details, including the sky, the reflections on the bottom are quite nicely reproduced. And so what I can do is just take the target FPS down to like something like six FPS. And now you can really see a lot of high frequency background detail over here. You can see all the trees are modeled. You can see the reflections, especially as I stay within the capture volume or rather around it. I got really good details here on the back. In, the, in contrast here on the staircase, like, yeah, you can see that there's a staircase here, but you're missing all that other background information, right? Let me actually like uh, move over this white background and show that in a little bit more detail. You can kind of see in the Nerf representation, you've got all the backgrounds, you know, sky, even some of these high flying trees and so forth. And of course, as I stay within the volume, things look good. But again, as I move up, things deteriorate. And so, yeah, this is like quite literally a volume, as you can see. And it is also view dependent. So you can see colors change in that volume as you get closer to it. Obviously, you can drop this volume and clip in on just the salient details here. You can see this is quite nice still, right? Quite nice indeed. And since it's a neural volume, like what, what's most interesting about this is like how it models reflections, right? And so that's kind of a part of, let's just say the inefficiency of the model is modeling a lot of this extraneous geometry at the wrong depths, clearly, uh, including this reflection over here physically. Uh, but again, you know, since we know that the task that we're optimizing for here is view synthesis, this is quite enough for you to like, you know, essentially be able to stamp out a bunch of awesome videos from this experience, right? Like for that, this is like absolutely spectacular. And so I'm quite excited by the potential of what we can do here. Um, let me actually just show you very quickly. If I crop this down, we can also just like kind of mesh it. Let's see. Boom. And now you've got a photogrammetric mesh. And honestly, the result is not too shabby. It is picking up a lot of high frequency detail too, uh, compared to the other mesh. Let me go look at my more optimized mesh over here. Sorry, I have a bunch of post-processing effects on here. Let me go into the shade. Yeah, I mean, quite nice indeed. Like, 
Nice job, Nerf. So I'm quite excited by this. Uh, and, and, and what I'm gonna play with next is going to create a camera path and stamp out some awesome looking content.